Welcome back, everyone, to Pick Up Bricks. My name is Jessie, and I am your usual host. But today we have a guest star, guest something, I don't really know what to call him. Please welcome my father, Danny. Hello. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So the truck you see before you was very kindly built by my father for the channel and he will be giving the presentation and I will be asking the questions. Okay. Although I can't get the question sheet now because the mic's on. I now have the questions. Okay, rock and roll. So I am ready to answer all of these questions. Thank you very much for having me, etc., etc. Let's rock and roll. Okay, question one. What is your absolute favorite part of this build? Okay, well, first of all, I think I need to back up a little bit and tell you what exactly I was going for. So if you'll notice that maybe the pictures that are coming up, if my son is clever enough with his uh, editing skills, the pictures that are coming up, these are what I was basing it on. It's this modified Ford Ranger, which was in Thailand or Korea or something mm -hmm. like that. And I just thought it was really, really cool. Obviously, there's some extra stuff that's gone into it and been taken away from it. Couldn't get it exactly right. And However, and may I just put in, um, if you haven't noticed, the front of the truck has very little studs on the side construction and it's quite difficult to get a good looking front of a vehicle without using studs on the side construction. But I think that you've captured it really well and I'd just like to applaud you for that. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You definitely, um, you know, after, how, how old are you? You're like 14, 14. and a half. You know, yeah. you've been doing this for a long, long time and I've been watching you do it for a long, long time. Um, so I've just been trying to learn as much as I can, so. And then also one other thing, for nice pipe usage, the logo on the front is a thermal detonator from uh, the Star Wars line. I just saw my finger in there. Thermal detonator, Star Wars line, let's see, bam, right there, there it is. Fantastic, and if you notice through, through the hood, it's actually, what that name, it's from Harry Potter, Hermione and. Ah uh, yeah, uh, Hermione and Ron. Hermione and Ron sitting in there, and we'll get a little bit more into that. Because uh, Ron has decided that he is a big truck loving American. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so let's just come back to your first question. What was uh, it again? What is your absolute favorite part of this build? My favorite part has got to be the light gray back thing with the lights on the top. Light gray back. Oh yeah, yeah okay. So that thing. Bam, right up. Let me see if I can. I'm just going to indicate right there. <laughs> Those things right here. Let me grab this fancy little whacker ditty thing. These things right here. You like that. Mm. Okay. So there's a number of things that I like about it. Um, I really, this needs to come up just a touch. I really like the color scheme um, and the something that I, I tried to do along with this. I'm, I'm a pretty obsessed about getting things color coordinated because I, in my mind, things just don't quite look right if they're not. And so Jesse's got, fuck it, geez, like you go to Ikea and grab like five something, of their- Something I should really do is a, um, after tidying everything up because my room's a bit of a pixar, do a uh, room tour. The room tour, the guy, the kid has like four or five massive, like the biggest, Ikea containers that you can think of, just filled with Lego. Absolutely chock a block. Plus probably Lego. 20 little boxes. Oh, for sure. And so what I've tried to do, you know, it's it's sometimes difficult, anybody with a big Lego collection, uh, you, you will know that sometimes finding the right piece and the right color, color coordination is really difficult. So I just tried to find, as I was sorting, I tried to find as many blue pieces as I could because I wanted to make it blue. Um, try and find as many blue pieces as I could and I just collected those and that helped me kind of sort through everything as I was doing it. Um, so I love the color coordination part about it. Um, I, I especially like, this is a, a nifty little trick. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Hold on a second. Let me ease up on this camera so I can really turn this And now in the ad section, we are yeah. watching Danny uh, positioning his camera with his tripod. What's the uh, tripod you're using, Dad? Um, it is a tripod. It is a VF WT3530. 
Okay, I will see if that's on Amazon, and if it is, there will be a link in the description. So I really love the way Jesse taught me how to do these um, internal like aftermarket style shocks. Really big on those. Um, in addition, I quite like the, um, I really like the uh, tail lights that I did, just those thin, thin slit tail lights. I'm not getting a very good photo, so let me just bring this up. Anyway, those thin slit tail lights, um, I quite like. There we go. Um, I really like the way this bonnet, the the hood of this, kind of comes up with this extra. I don't know what do you call that? Um, raised engine detail, or if you were if you if you spun that around um, so that the slope was going backwards, that would look a bit like a uh, air intake. Ah, oh, yeah, I could do it either way. Yeah, for sure. Um, I can show you now if you like, but there is a bit on the inside. Actually, the inside is probably my favorite. I love the seats that I did. And yes, I know I have been saying I'm gonna do a video on the seats. I don't know think I've said that. I've said I'm gonna do a video on the doors. I have never done a video on the doors. So let me just whack these open. Oops. Or break them off, or break as them you off. do. Yeah, okay, so let me open these up. Okay, so now we can see Hermione in all her glory. Well, not exactly all her glory. Um, Half her can, glory. But really what we can see, we can start to see are these seats. There's the bird. Um, that's our... Uh, that's our... Sorry, that's our... So I took a picture. Okay, so I really quite like the bat seat headrests that I did. Um, and these seats, you can tie, you can aim them, you know, all the way back. If there were more room in the cab, I simply didn't have enough room in the cab in order to, to, to lean them back as much as I wanted to. But the headrest can move independently of the back seat, of the backrest, which I'm really proud of. Um, something else that I'm really proud of, if I swing this around as well, and break Ron's side as I open it. Don't break, come on. Nope, they broke. Um, the uh, the the door technique that we use with being so tight being only being held on with two studs that makes it quite breakable if you're opening the door yeah. so so when you're doing that just be a bit careful when you when you are opening the doors yeah so Ron side is the same thing everything's color coordinated something else that I really like is on the inside I actually use a speed champions hubcap as uh, a yeah. steering wheel. Yeah. So it's right in front of him. And then I'll pop the top off as I deconstruct this towards the end of the video and I'll show you the uh, center console, which I really like too. The, the only um, downside to this vehicle that I that I find is that to take the roof off, you also have to take the uh, the lights off the top. It's a heck of an endeavor, that's that's for sure. And that's probably my least favorite part of it. Which, I... which is our uh, next question, so let me just get to that. What is your absolute least favorite part of this build? Least favorite is that in order to get into, in, in order to get inside and kind of see all the extra features of it, I really have to disassemble it and you'll see that. It's not an easy on, easy off, you know, either mm. with those jumper plates. Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah. So that is something that will change on the next build, whatever the next yeah. build happens to be. What was the hardest part of this build to accomplish from a technical perspective? From a technical perspective, the seats were pretty hard. It's kind of a new uh, style of seat. Um, I don't know if you would call the color coordination I don't know if you'd call that technical. I'd more call that aesthetic. Aesthetic, yeah. Um, there is a, a different style as well, underside. Um, I'm just trying to, to show you. So I'm using what you call those technic bars. Technic bars that kind of run through these, whatever those things are called. Um, that are where I call the connector two B pieces that are slightly star shaped. Yeah. So trying to find a new wheel design. Um, I can't remember why I wanted to. I think it was because I couldn't find mm. enough pieces to do your to do your stuff. Um, and then also from a technical perspective, building this tailgate so that it folds down. Also, something else that's interesting about that tailgate is that the back area are actually sloped, but because the tailgate can't go all the way up, they actually look 
like they're straight, and that's just a um, bit of a happy accident, as, yes. uh, as Bob Ross would say. Happy accident. So you can see it will not go all the way up because of the way I've built it, but because, they're, as Jesse said, because they are um, curved, it actually looks like it's coming up nice and flush, or about as flush as you'd get on a normal on a normal pickup truck. So that's the answer. What was that? What question was that? What was the hardest part of this build to, co to accomplish from a technical perspective? Yeah, okay. Next and one. Is, why was that so difficult? Um, ooh, what all did I say? You like listed three things. Doors, seats, and tailgate. Trying to get this thing, trying to get the tailgate to work. Um, Jesse helped me out because there's there was actually a space. Um, I hang that up. There was a space coming. You can see those spaces. That was a lot more pronounced. Um, but as you can see, it, it only, it kind of appears looking straight down and only when it's up. So as it sits, that was, it was, it was just a more, it was just, it was just a little more difficult um, mm. to achieve, not the, but certainly not the end of the world. And then also trying to squeeze everything into the cab, um, making a two-seater was was pretty difficult. I don't even know why I chose to do a two-seater. I think it was because I think in the end it was because when I first started building, I started with with these kind of Technic block things with holes in them. And, we um, use very professional terms on this channel. Yeah, exactly. So fill it in the comments, people, whatever those things are. Um, and it just turned out to be this length. So that's that's why working within, for, for, for a truck, for a vehicle, the hardest part is trying to squeeze everything in when you know you've got time, when you know you've got space constraints. Mm. And the next question, if you could change one thing about this build, what would it be? Ooh, okay. If I could change one thing, it would probably be my ability to um, to crack into the top, to, to crack into the cab easily. How, how about your ability to literally crack the doors? Yeah, and not crack the doors as I do it. Um, but I think that's a, um, yeah, that's just, it's kind of a design flaw. Well, so is cracking in from the top. Yeah, if, so if I could change one thing, um, I'd change a couple. I'd change how easily it is, how easy it is to get into the roof. I would change the fact that these typically break when I open them up. And I also, I'm not too proud of how chunky this lighter gray bar is. If um, uh, a thing you could do to rectify that is to use the three high sloped mm -hmm. pieces in light gray, the one by the one by two by three. Sure. Pieces. I don't. I don't exactly know what they are. Every Lego piece has a number. Yeah. Um, I haven't. I haven't memorized those. And something that I ha that I've now just noticed from looking at the truck from the side is that the tops of the seats literally touch the roof. They're like the exact right height. Yeah, that was a that was a happy accident. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I, like you're seeing it now, I do not like how chunky that top bar is, especially. It's just a little bit too chunky in my opinion. Um, and if I were looking to get an addition on my truck and that was that chunky, I'd say, oh, don't you have anything that's a little sleeker, a little slimmer? What's going on here? You know? <laughs> yeah. So I, I wouldn't buy that aftermarket kit it is the, uh, is the yeah. end of the story. Yeah. All right. The next question is, what gave you the inspiration? Uh, my son, he's always making uh, trucks and I was board building. I was, I was, I had made something, I'd made a nice little um, kind of stone wall thing. Um, uh, yeah, with that, um, with that tree. Yeah, I'd made that and I, I really liked that for all the detail. And um, I kind of, I, I figured, all right, why not try something new? I've never tried to make a vehicle. Mm. Um, so. And for a first time, I think you uh, I think you did really well. How long were you building this? What, a week? More than a week. Just because I, I only have about an hour to dedicate to it every day. And I yeah. don't make it up here. You know, it's, it's, it's a bit hit and miss when it comes yeah. to try and dedicate time. Yeah. So probably every day, 25 solid minutes or 40 minutes every day for two weeks. The next question is, why this color and was it your first choice? Uh, no, I probably would have gone for something like orange, but I know you don't have as many orange pieces and I knew I was, for the first build I was going to, I was just going to have to yeah, try. Yeah, and need a common color. Got to make a common color. I got to have enough pieces in enough different styles 
in that same color in order to try and make it look the way I want it to. Mm. And then something that I uh, that I notice and that I quite like is the strip of dark blue that goes right up the middle. Right. And and, right. and and the fact that you also did that on the tailgate. Yep, tailgate as well. It follows all the way along there. Back line, the tailgate for sure. Um, I also quite like that I did this darker blue strip uh, along the side. Mm. Just a little right along here. Yeah. And, and con continued it along yeah. with the, uh, and the, the door. And the only thing that I have that, I'm, that I don't 100% like about the sides is that the uh, blue section on the door is higher than the rest. And it's thicker. Yeah, and, and, and what you could have done to stop that is just adding an extra plate a dark, an extra dark blue plate under the uh, dark blue tiles just to raise that slightly sure and in doing that you could have also raised where the light gray light bar is and that meant you could have cut down a um one one plate yeah yeah no you're right about that so just just to be the uh, party pooper of your uh, right. of your dark blue strip. <laughs> All right, final question: What mods do you want to make immediately after filming? Oh, I'd like there to be a bull bar. I don't know how I would put a bull bar on, but I'd like there to be. What I usually find good uh, uh, for doing a bull bar is just using the prison bar inserts that go into the standard window frames. Okay. The six by four. Yeah. And I also like those because they do have the bars on them. And so you can use the clips that you did for the uh, roof light bar and just attach more lights onto the front. Okay, all right, cool. That and I would have liked to make a, um, like a, a color themed trailer that had, and like obviously Ron and Hermione, they are a bit party-ish. Um, they're going to the beach with the boys or whoever. Yeah. Um, and they've got themselves, they, you know, to have a pull behind trailer, because I've already got the hitch, mm. you know, um, to have a pull, be pull behind trailer that's similar color as this, and either on that trailer was some kind of uh, dune buggy or mm. uh, jet ski or something. Or a, uh, or a rack with kayaks and a few broomsticks. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, it, you know, and that's probably another one that I would make. It was an accident that Ron and Hermione were in there. Yeah. I'm not a total sucker for uh, Harry Potter. I mean, I like it, but um, it's not like I sought out to make them a, uh, <laughs> you know, a nice little runabout mm. truck. But... Now that they're in there, and it's kind of difficult to get, it's kind of difficult to get them out. It would be cool to have up back here, like where you typically mm. see a surfboard leaning up against it. Find some way to clip, you know, two, yeah. two power. Because yeah. you got the, because you got the, the um, what's, that, what's that ball game that I play? Quidditch. Quidditch. You, you got a quidditch, a couple Quidditch brooms. I got. You? I have like six now. Yeah. yeah so, so a couple Quidditch brooms because that that gives the uh, the idea that they're you know they're they're like extreme they're extreme magical people. Yeah. Um, all right, so that is ending the uh, question section of this. Now let me pull off before we end here. Let me just pull off the top. Let me see if I can do this with everybody watching. This is something else that I didn't particularly like about it because on one side it's stuck fast and on the other side it's not because on this on the on this side we got a jumper plate and on this side we got whatever the whatever that other thing is. Um, okay, coming in straight from the top. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, then pull off the back. And there, if I'm being clever, let me try and zoom in here. We've got ourselves a center console, and Ron's got himself a cup of coffee cup. He's obviously stopping at Casey's and getting himself coffee. Uh, and there they are. And there's there, right there, if you can see it, is his steering wheel with the Speed Champions. Uh, speed Champions have capital. Yeah. And uh, something else that you could have done just to make it a bit more El Classino, mm -hmm. uh, that's translated to classy, um, is do the silver Speed Champions hubcap uh, if yeah. you wanted a more. Sure. Yeah, and uh, a few, a few uh, about a couple weeks ago, I saw a antique, it was like a GMC Sierra from like the uh, 80s. It was driving past and the steering wheel was like silver chain. Ah, uh, yeah, Like yeah, those yeah, ones. Yeah. Right. Very cool. Yeah. 
Anyway, that is the Ford Ranger modification thing, data, style, Jesse. I want to thank you very much for allowing me the tolerance to come on and make a video mm -hmm. about my very yeah. own truck. And uh, we will certainly be having you back. And uh, maybe next time when I do a video, we'll uh, switch roles. I'll, I'll be the one doing the uh, showing and he'll be the one asking me the questions. Sounds acting, good. Acting host. Thank you for coming. It's been great having you. We're gonna see each other for the rest of the day, so. So. So, oh. <laughs> so, so I don't really feel right saying, I'll see you again. Um, but we'll just, perhaps we'll see the audience again, all yeah. right? All right. Thank you for watching. Adios, guys. Adios. I don't know which button to press. That's all right, I'll take care of it. Okie dokie, this bit will be edited out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I will see you next time. <laughs>